the aviation industry has long awaited the 777X. Eagerly anticipating its technological breakthroughs will redefine flight standards. However, Emirates' president said that the 7X has shown no promising signs of entering service anytime soon, even can be delayed for many more years. At this critical juncture, Airbus might be the last lifeline for airlines with its A350-2000, a long-held aspiration, appears more justified than ever. But how can AA350-2000 save the industry? When will it be introduced officially? Let's dive in. So, what is the A350-2000 and is it something worth looking forward to? The A350-2000 represents Airbus's bold evolution of the A350 family. A further stretched version of the A350-1000 engineered to redefine long-haul travel. Initially, this manufacturer introduced the XWB series alongside the A350-800, which was eventually phased out. The Variant 900, featuring an additional 6.26 meters of fuselage, took to the skies on January 20th, 15, setting a new benchmark. Building on this, the Variant 1000 extended its length by nearly 7 meters, necessitating innovations like a six-wheel landing gear and the powerful Rolls-Royce Trent XWB engine with 97,000 pounds of thrust. Now, Airbus is contemplating the A350-2000, a third phase of fuselage extension, harking back to ideas first seen with the A350-800 in 2006. In the competition, Boeing's efforts to stretch the 777 beyond its 300 ER variant required significant modifications, from a new central engine to a fourth generation wing crafted from carbon fiber composites and advanced avionics originally developed for the 787. With the revolutionary advancements of the 7X series, Airbus will be under immense pressure to deliver an A350-2000 that not only meets, but surpasses the technological and performance benchmarks set by its competitors. Airbus officials have remained tight-lipped about the exact extent of modifications needed, be it to the airframe, avionics, or engine configurations, to launch the A350-2000. However, they assert that these changes will be far less demanding than those Boeing has had to implement for its 777X series. This confidence is underpinned by the robust design of the current Variant 1000, which already boasts the optimal wing, engine, and fuselage width. We don't have to do as much work as Boeing would have to do. If we wanted to stretch the A350-1000, we would do it quite simply. The aircraft has the right wing, it has the right engine, it has the right fuselage width, it has all the right parameters today. So if our customers tell us that's the airplane they want us to do, we will do it quite quickly, explains Kieran Rao, Airbus Executive Vice President Strategy and Marketing at that time. This approach underscores Airbus's belief in its current design, a platform that's inherently adaptable and primed for future enhancements. The company's streamlined strategy for the A350-2000 not only promises a quicker turnaround time in response to market demands, but also reinforces its commitment to delivering advanced, cost-effective solutions that meet the evolving needs of airlines worldwide. By building on an already efficient and well-engineered aircraft, Airbus is poised to introduce the Variant 2000 with minimal disruption, offering carriers a compelling new option that combines extended range with superior performance. In a market where rapid adaptability is key, Airbus's readiness to swiftly modify its flagship product signals a strong competitive edge and a clear commitment to staying ahead of the curve. Airbus should immediately launch the A350-2000 program. Why? But wait, thanks for sticking around until now. Please help us hit 40,000 subscribers by smashing that subscribe button if you haven't already. It's a small click for you, but a giant leap for us to keep bringing you great content. Thanks a ton. Firstly, the Boeing 777X has yet to secure its flight certification. The 7X program is now six years behind schedule, even if it were to enter service as Boeing promised in 2026. Originally, this program was slated for certification in 2019 and a 2020 service entry, leaving Airbus with roughly only three and a half years to develop and introduce a product that can directly rival Boeing's anticipated 406-seat twin-aisle jet. Consequently, the A350-2000 program was previously shelved on the premise that Airbus didn't have enough time to create an aircraft that could compete with Boeing's wide-body offering. However, as the 7X program grows increasingly untenable, 
Airbus now has a golden opportunity to capture the attention and the business of those major carriers, like Cathay Pacific and Emirates, who have frequently expressed their frustration with this aircraft delays. This moment presents a perfect opening for Airbus to assert its dominance. In case I forgot, beyond Cathay Pacific and Emirates, which other airlines might be getting impatient with the 777X delays and looking at alternatives. Moreover, this is a time when Airbus can launch a variant of the A350 that is not only ready for production, but also delivers exceptional performance. It echoes the resounding success of the A321neo, which surged ahead largely because Boeing failed to provide a truly competitive alternative. In the fiercely competitive aviation industry, seizing market opportunities and leading the charge is crucial. Once a manufacturer identifies a gap or a weakness in the market, there's little time to waste. By introducing the A350-2000 now, Airbus can redefine the wide-body aircraft segment, setting new benchmarks in fuel efficiency, performance, and technological innovation. This isn't just another aircraft launch. It's a strategic offensive aimed at dominating the market and reshaping the future of air travel. Secondly, despite the industry's shift from four-engine giants like the 747 and A380 to more efficient twin-engine jets, there remains an undeniable demand for large aircraft. With Airbus having wrapped up A380 production, carriers are now left wondering how to address this latent need for ultra-large capacity. This is the perfect moment for the Variant 2000 to step into the racing. This will be an aircraft that not only bridges the gap left by the A380, but also meets the evolving needs of today's airlines. There will be early shoppers, such as Emirates, a luxury powerhouse that has repeatedly urged Airbus to either continue A380 production or introduce an A380neo could be the ideal partners for this ambitious venture. When combining the mounting frustration over the 7X delays with a deep-seated affection for the A380, it becomes clear that the A350-2000 is poised to capture hearts and orders. Thirdly, the opportunity to create an unrivaled aircraft. The flagship variant of the A350 family, the 1000, boasts an overall length of just under 74 meters and can comfortably carry over 400 passengers, making it the ideal successor to the 777-300ER and a 34600 However, when compared to the massive capacities of the A380 and 747, and with Boeing's gorgeous 777-9 coming, the 1000's capacity still falls short. This is where the new aircraft should come into the game. By extending the current variant 1000's fuselage by roughly 4 meters, Airbus could add an additional 40 or 50 seats, catapulting its capacity into a more competitive range and offering the distinct advantage some customers have been craving. Finally, in the past, the notion of the variant 2000 coincided with the production of the A380, leading Airbus to worry that the two aircraft might end up competing for the same market share. Now that the A380 is no longer in production, the stage is set for a next-generation jumbo jet. The A350-2000 could very well be the game-changing answer to market demands, setting a new benchmark in the wide-body segment. Now this is an interesting time. Engines are the true cornerstone of any aircraft's success, and they deserve the most attention. So, which engine will power the A350-2000? Currently, every member of the A350 family is equipped with the highly acclaimed Rolls-Royce XWB engine, renowned for its exceptional efficiency and performance. However, for the Variant 2000, the most logical and transformative choice is to adopt the Rolls-Royce Ultrafan, the latest and most advanced engine program from Rolls-Royce. The Ultrafan represents a significant leap forward in aviation technology. It promises not only enhanced fuel efficiency and reduced emissions, but also increased thrust and improved overall performance. This engine is designed to meet the stringent demands of modern, long-haul operations while paving the way for a new era of environmentally conscious and cost-effective air travel. By integrating the Ultrafan, this Airbus new A350 would not merely be an incremental upgrade, it could become a true game changer in the wide body segment. As airlines around the world face increasing pressure to reduce their carbon footprint and improve operational efficiency, the adoption of the Ultrafan could offer a competitive edge that sets this aircraft apart from its rivals. In a market where every innovation counts, the right engine choice is pivotal, 
and the Ultrafan could be the key to unlocking unprecedented performance and reliability for the next generation A350. What do you think about a large plane that can fly long distances while saving costs and reducing emissions? Please let us know what you think. When will it be launched? However, the more critical question is, when will Airbus officially unveil this new aircraft? Despite numerous compelling arguments for such a move, Airbus has yet to show any signs of advancing a variant like the A350-2000. In fact, CEO Guillaume Fauré has firmly dismissed rumors that suggest a large A350 could replace the A380 and become the company's flagship commercial jet. According to Fauré, there is simply not enough market demand for a 500-passenger airplane in today's aviation landscape. We made the first priority to try to find another way to serve this capacity. We are happy with the A350, the variant 901,000, so we keep focusing on those versions of the plane, Forey stated. His remarks underline Airbus's commitment to optimizing and enhancing the current variant A350 models, which already offer a compelling blend of efficiency, performance, and capacity that meets the majority of carrier needs. This surely must leave many Airbus fans disappointed, right? So, who agrees that Airbus should build the A350-2000 right now? Show your agreement by comment 1 below. Additional market insights suggest that while the idea of a larger aircraft is intriguing, the industry has shifted its focus towards fuel-efficient twin-engine jets that balance capacity with operational cost-effectiveness. With the A380 no longer in production and the challenges faced by other large aircraft programs, airlines are increasingly seeking alternatives that align with current trends in efficiency and environmental responsibility. In this evolving market, Airbus's decision to concentrate on its existing A350 variants may well prove to be a strategic masterstroke, ensuring the company remains agile and responsive to global aviation demands while avoiding the pitfalls of an overly ambitious new development. What do you think about Airbus's decision? With a diverse lineup that now includes not only this new program, but also the A322, A380neo, and A350neo. Which project excites you the most? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you, and may you always have safe flights.